today. Thank you. Um, Mr. Secretary, in less than six months, this administration has already been devastating for Americans' health. This administration has created chaos, confusion, instability in the market, and that has dramatically increased health insurance costs and leaves the middle class families to foot the bill. Um, this administration has taken steps to allow states to kick new mothers off of Medicaid if they can't find work within 60 days of giving birth. This administration is rolling back protections for women by allowing employers to deny a woman access to birth control. This administration is pushing a dangerous health care bill that allows insurance companies to again discriminate against people with pre-existing conditions. And now, your department has released the worst budget for women's health in a generation. Not only does it advance dangerous policies to impose a pregnancy tax and gut health coverage for maternity care and breast cancer screenings, not only does it decimate the Medicaid program, which provides health coverage to one in six women, but for the first time in history, it also takes the extreme step of defunding Planned Parenthood, a trusted medical provider for 2.5 million Americans that performed more than 600,000 breast, breast and cervical cancer screenings just last year. The Congressional Budget Office, I hope you're aware, the Congressional Budget Office has estimated that nearly 400,000 patients served by Planned Parenthood would not find alternative care through community health centers and other providers. And I hope you're also aware, Mr. Secretary, that the CBO also estimates that defunding Planned Parenthood actually increases the nation's deficit by $130 million over the next decade. That means costing taxpayers more money and denying women health care. And that's something that uh, my colleagues have brought up in terms of making sure that you know, we look at the numbers. Um, this, that decision would increase the deficit. Um, the CBO's rationale is that Planned Parenthood helps women plan their families, and by, not, by denying them access, there will be thousands more unintended pregnancies in the Medicaid program. Um, people across the country oppose this. They oppose this kind of attack because they know politicians have no right to interfere in a woman's personal medical decisions, and that includes decisions about where and when to get health care. So um, I would strongly encourage you and President Trump to reconsider this reckless and misguided effort. Family planning should not be a partisan issue. Democratic women, Republican women, independent women all rely on contraception and family planning to decide the course of their lives and choose when or if to have a child. It's time for this administration to stop the relentless tax on women and families. We deserve better. And I yield back. Mr. Um, Mr. Meehan, you're recognized.